Hey guys, Heiko here, and in this episode, we have some friends visiting us in Key Largo, and I'm determined to give them the South Florida Fishing Channel catch and cook experience. Today, we are running offshore to the Key Largo Humps, which are located between 280 to 300 feet of water just off Key Largo. Who would have guessed? Heck, I'll even drop the coordinates right here. Let's go. At the humps, we're gonna be trolling the black and purple and baitfish glow colored weedless squid rigs and see what bites. Oh yeah, baby. Weedless squid rig. Yeehaw, yeehaw. We are trolling between 8 to 10 miles per hour. Don't forget, you can majorly support this channel by getting yourself some of these rigs at SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. Go on, get it! Alright. Yeah, girls? Who's got the bigger fish? Is that mine? No. Uh, blackfin tuna! That's good. Hold on, let me come get it. I was like, I need help now. All right, bring the leader up to me. Um, so I can grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, kid, then bring yours in. He's coming. Good job. I'm like, oh my god, I'm dying. I can't tell which, if I, which side I'm on. Uh, get it to the right side of it. Put it to him. Okay. Yeah. There, grab the leader. Yeah, whip him in. Nice, that's a good one. It's a fat one. Holy smokes. Those are good. Black and purple. Good job, Yeehaw! Good job, Mama! You did that! I was like, you! Looking real good. Oh yeah. Make sure you slit the tuna's throat to bleed them out before you put them on ice. We also catch a barracuda on our dive plug while trolling the humps. But it's his lucky day because we throw him back. Another big hookup on the black, black and purple weedless squid rig. It never fails. Ooh, I see you. Ooh, what color? There's color. Color down there. I guarantee you it's a black man. Oh my god. Oh, it's a nice fish. gotta get him on the boat. All right. That's a nice fish. Here, what, like, you have my dog. I'll go. All right, bring that. That's a nice You're up here. Okay. Woo! Yep. Oh my god, oh my god. Dude. The fattest one yet. Damn. That's a nice fish. 
That's a nice black fin. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Connor! Beast mode. Oh, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what was that, Connor? I'm sorry, what was that, Connor? <laughs> Wait, let's go to it. Get that at southpointofishingchannel.com. <laughs> Damn, that's fatty. That's a fatty blue wedding. Well, that actually does Bleed them like and throw them on the ice. Vertical. We get multiple, so we make sure we get And then... He's bleeding all over. <laughs> that is so good, Connor. Oh my god. Oh, There you go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, get them pictures. You got the whole crew. After spilling enough tuna blood on our deck to put any nosebleed to shame, we decide to head back in, but not without first stopping at the Key Largo sandbar. I'ma hit you back in a minute. Where we take pictures of our tuna. and get a little frisky with some sparkly bubbles. I gotta say, it was a good day with some good friends. Now, it's time for a catch and cook. We're back, we're back at the at the La Casa. And guess what we got? For how many people and how much fun we were having, I'm surprised we actually caught some fish. <laughs> we're gonna make some poke bowls. Ooh! There's muscle. Ooh. Ready for this? Nice. Cut nice deep into the head. Look at that. Hala kabanga. We want to make sure that we cut all the bones and all the bloodline out of here. You don't want no sushi with bones in it, right? Right. Nice piece of tuna. Yeah. And you see that big red bloodline? Mm -hmm. We don't want that. Heck no, we don't. There we go. Bloodless, perfect piece of tuna. Mm -hmm. And this we're gonna turn into pokeballs. Bowls. Mm -hmm. Damn it, I'm doing it again. I always call pokeballs, pokeballs. See you in the kitchen. How's that light looking? 
My turkey just sinking. Are we ready? We're ready. Okay. Well, after a long day of white claws, we got ourselves some blackfin tuna. So we put the tuna in the fridge for like, oh, I don't know, two hours. Got it real cold. I put it in the freezer for like 45 minutes and dried it off with paper towels so it's nice and dry. And we're just gonna cube it up. Make lots and lots of little cubes. Damn. Yeah, sunburns. you are like all kinds of colors right now. <laughs> sunburns. I got sunburn. We all got kind of sunburn. <laughs> Look at this pile. You see that? Let me get in there. Oh, yeah. And check this out. We're gonna eat a little bit right right now. You see this guy right here? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna slice him. All right, check this out. That's almost like pokey, but bigger, much bigger pieces. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna do a real simple. Where's my soy sauce? Oh yeah, here. Okay, I think I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Wasabi and soy sauce. Oh, oh. <laughs> Still has the lift pull tab. Here's your subscriber send it to you. We had a subscriber send this to us. Let's taste it. Not as spicy as I was hoping. It's not. Okay. Oops. Some wasabi sauce. Some soy sauce. Oh, well, that might be too much wasabi. I might have done screwed us over here, guys. Let me, let me taste it. Ready? I don't like it. So. Mm. Okay. Connor, come over here. You're going to like this. Ooh. Have a bite of that. Ooh. That is good. Oh, that's you so like good. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> nice. 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 Okay, to marinate the pokey. That's like the perfect amount of wasabi. Pokey. Yeah, it's yeah. actually the wasabi's pretty good. Yeah. I thought it was gonna it's, be too it's, much. It's but not potent. Yeah, not potent at all. I think the girls can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, we're gonna take all this tuna here and slide it in that bag, which I don't know how I'm gonna do with only one hand. Um, here, I'll figure it out. Okay. I'm a rock star. See that? Yeah, I just. I saw that. It's beautiful. Sliced and diced tuna. Now, here's a little secret. Well, it's actually not a secret at all. Take some sesame oil. Pour it in there. Not much, you know, just a little wrinkle dinkle. A little bit of soy sauce in here. About that. And then what we got here is Salt and red pepper. Damn, how does that look? Mix that up in there. We got our tuna marinated for a couple minutes. You don't want to marinate it too long. And um, in this bowl here, we made just some rice. Nothing fancy. We just made uh, this this rice here. Nishike. Oh, nish, nishiki? Nishiki! Oh, you gotta say Um, Yeah, we just followed the instructions on the back to make this. Take some rice, put it in a bowl here. Ooh. Okay, oh so God. earlier I took a cucumber, sliced it up, and I diced it up. And I also put some salt, celery salt on it. There we go. Check it out. Perfect. Take some cucumber. And Then we'll take some tuna. Oops. Oops. There we go. Okay. Kobe Bryant. Avocado. Ha! Think I was gonna do it? No. Wait, you don't think I can do it? No, I didn't say you couldn't. I just. I knew you were going to get the recipe. Oh, God. 
Look at that. Mm. Ooh, that's a good, that's a perfect avocado. Wow. It's a good I was, look. I was squeezing them all in the store. Oh my God. You got the right one. Yeah, thank you guys for this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We're not done yet. Ready for this? Mm -hmm. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you've been singing that lately. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Black sesame seed and roasted sesame seed. You want to just give it a nice sprinkle. Sprinkle tinkle. And then finishing move. Mortal Kombat, this is my finishing move. Sriracha mixed with mayo. I just mix the two in a bag. Squeeze, like it's just a regular bag. Squeeze it, try to be all fancy, like uh, some cooking kind of show. Cut the tip off. Oh. Oops. And then, oops. Okay, that's probably plenty. I put a little too much sauce there, but that's okay. Ready for this? Are you ready for this, babe? Are you even ready for this? Call the police. I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm already, I'm already cramping up here. Time to make bowls for everybody. Ooh. Let's get to it. I feel like I keep losing my fork. Whoa! It's a nice bowl you got there. You like that? I'm loaded up. Mm. It's so good, I go. Oh my gosh.